welcome back. My name is Stephanie Yen. In this video, I'm going to show you the top five mistakes that I saw in February. So let's just get started with 30 to 20 Q mistake. So the first mistake is the wrong Joseki choice. So let's look at an example now. Um, so right now it's white to play, it's white to play, and this is the last move. Uh, black will play the tiger's mouth to respond the attachment move joseki here. That's also one of the most classic josekis in Go. So if you have any questions about uh, josekis, you can always check our josekis videos. There are tons of josekis you, you can learn. All right, so let's go back to our mistake right now. Um, so after white, uh, black plays the tiger's mouth, white plays a one space jump. This is what happened in the, uh, in the actual game. And black take the side, and now white decided to pencil that stone. So why is this the mistake? So let's look at the, these two moves here. They're all on the low line, the lower line, which is the third line. So in the actual game, Black jumped out, and of course, white now needs to respond that jump. And then black plays a shoulder hit here to attack this white stone. And then a white has to either push here or push on the top, either way. And the three stones is, is on the third line, still on the third line. Even though white now is able to jump out, but when we look at the whole side of white there, everything is on the third line, it's too low. So where should a white to play uh, to avoid the low move? So right now, instead of play the one space jump, white should peep here, and that's a sente. So after that exchange, instead of the, the one space jump on the third line, what now can pull the stone up, kind of, and then now your one of your stones is on the fourth line, but a white, black still needs to take the side to protect the four stones. And then when you pincer here, you can see not every stone on the third line and one of the stones on the fourth line. So in the opening, we always should we should always combine the low move and the, the high move. The high move usually is the fourth line move, and the low move is usually the third line move. So um, white doesn't have to play the one space pincer. You can also go to the two space pincer to avoid the shoulder hit. Um, so remember this, in the opening, we should always combine the high moves and the low moves. All right, so now let's look at the next one. Our next mistake by 19 to 10 Q player is a wrong move to defend. So let's look at an example now. Um, so what happened in the actual game is black played the pincer here and then white tanuki. So now it's white, uh, it's black's turn. So since black already played a played a pincer move here, black was trying to attack the stone and white tanuki again. So of course black wants to keep attacking this group. So in the in the actual game, I'm gonna show you though what happened in the actual game, and then we can come back to talk about the mistake. So in the actual game, White played here because White was thinking if White descends here, and then Black now can jump out, and because of this exchange move, now Black is able to separate the two groups. So White decided to cap on the top, and then what White was hoping is White wants to Black to connect it underneath, and then White connect back and pull the stone back. So now everything was, looks good. But what white misread is black has a honey here. That's also sente. And after that exchange, instead of a tari on the top, so black, white also was thinking about this variation as well. Just sacrifice the stone on the top and uh, white is able to connect them back. So later on, white can also can, uh, capture the two stones. If black connects here, now you can see all of the black shape is really bad. It's a dumpling shape. So this is what um, white expected. But what white misread is after this Ahana here, instead of Atari on the top, now black is able to connect them back directly. And now when you look at the ladder, so there's a ladder here. When you look at the ladder, and then black has a stone right here. So this stone will be the ladder breaker. 
because the latter now doesn't work for white. All right, so what happened in the actual game uh, is white played an extend, since the latter doesn't work, and then black extended here again, and then white pushed, black blocked, and white Atari'd, black connects. So Wei somehow used uh, Tatsuji here to cut the stone off, which is good. All right, well, black a tigerish mouse and a white Atari here. So later on, this group is dead. And more importantly, after this Atari, since black has a, another stone on the bottom right corner, white has to add another stone or another move to capture the stone. Otherwise, black can just extend here and start attacking the two groups again. But losing these th three stones is a big loss for weight. So now let's go back to the original move right here, the first move, and see what should weight do to avoid the separation. Okay, so in the actual game, white played a cap on the top. So do we have a better move so that we can help these two groups to connect? And yes, we do. So we have the honey on the bottom. So why is this better than descending? So when we descend here, and now there's no connecting move for white. So after black jumps out, there's no way for white to connect. But if white honey is here, let's say black played the same move. And since this move is closer to the stone, now when you use the second honey, and then you're able to connect your stone. So black now needs to Atari here and make a tiger's mouth to se separate the stone, to cut the stone off. But then white now can come back to honey on the top. And now you can see there is a Atari and kill. Right, so after this move, black needs, honey here doesn't work anymore because one of the liberties is already blocked. And then if black exists to uh, honey here, then the white will use Atari and, and Atari, and then this whole group is dead. So the honey doesn't work, then the black now needs to pull the stone back, and then white can extend on the top. That's also sente because there is a snapback here. So black needs to connect, and then now everything is connected, and white also has a center. So that's the second mistake, and then let's look at the next one. The next mistake by 9-1Q player is fall into a trick move. So let's look at an example now. So in this game, as you can see, Black is using a Moyo style in this game. Black give up all the territory in the corner already, so that Black control is controlling the whole center, the potentials. Okay, so in the actual game, White played an uh, approach move and tried to invade here, and Black used a one space pincer to respond that approach. And then White decided to use the Knight's move to run out, to escape. So one of the Joseki to respond to the Knight's move is just simply pull the stone out and play the one space jump. But the reason why Black didn't play this move is because that, that would be too easy for White to just or escape. And then all of the potential in the center is, is gone. So in the actual game, Black decided to play a very uh, interesting move, but not very common, which is one, two space jump here with one stone on the top. So when you, when, when you look at this kind of move, the first thing intuition for you probably just, I'm gonna block here and cut the stone off and the corner is dead, how can this move be good? All right, this is actually what happened in the actual game. So White played here without uh, thinking. So White just think, this is this must be a mistake. It can't work because I'm gonna block here and kill your corner. And then Black played a, a honey and White blocked it here. And Black connects. White connects. So after these two chain exchange moves in the corner, Black gets some more liberties. And then Black push and cut. And a white Atari is here. That's correct move. Get out in center. And then what use the knight's move here to reduce black's eye space. So 
up to this point, if we just look at the liberties, white has more liberties and black only has five. And of course, black is going to lose in the liberty fight, but this is not what black wants to do. So the idea behind this move is actually black wants white to push and cut here so that black can clamp and extend. That's all black sentence. And then black is going to use some more sentation on the top and squeeze white, white Ataris, and black Atari, and white captures. So these are all sentences for black. So right now, you probably have the same question. Black only has four liberties and white has many, many liberties. How can this variation be good for black? Wait a second. Now, black has a net here, just to sacrifice the five stones in the corner. So now, white has a four liberties and black has a four liberties. So white goes first. So white is going to win. But after white kills the five stones, and then you can see everything is enclosed in the corner. So white just to capture five stones. That's it, five stones and 10, 10 points, and then plus uh, six, seven, eight points in the corner and a half point there. So in the corner, white only has 18 and a half points, but look at outside. Black just has huge wall, and now it's connected with the bottom area here, and then now it's even easier for black to control the whole center and the whole uh, potentials and the influence over here. So eventually this game on uh, and it black wins is because white get tricked in the two space jump, Joseki. So let's go back to look at that move again. So after white played a knight's move and black played the two space jump. So this is always the first intuition, but I already showed you the, the trick for, for this move. So what's the correct move to respond to the trick move here? Black, white can just simply jump. And now after white make the one space jump, and the, as you can see, the cutting point is already fixed. So if black played an actual move here, uh, additional move here, and now the blocking move here will work better, much better than the last variation because the cut doesn't exist anymore. If the cut doesn't exist anymore, black can not use the sacrifice strategy to, to squeeze white. So after white played a one space jump, Black now needs to definitely need to pull the stone back, otherwise the corner is just too big. And then white can usually white can play the knight's move, but I have to use more time to think, or you have to use more time to, to read whether the push and cut will work in the liberty fight. But I think in this situation, the one space jump is already good enough for white. And also that's a sente. And white can just simply sacrifice just a, a couple of points on the top and just protect the weak group in the center. And now you can see all of the influence and potentials is already limited by white. All right, so that's the mistake um, by 9 to one q player. Now let's look at the next one. The next mistake by one to four down player is sacrificing too much in a fight. So now let's look at an example. So this is the last move in this game. So why don't we analyze this board first so that I can show you the mistake better later. Uh, so black and white are fighting in the middle, middle area here. A white has a weak group on the bottom. Black has a weak group in the center. And this white group over here is unsettled as well as this group, this one stone is not settled yet. So the question here is, where should black play to lead the fight or to be head of this fight? So in the actual game, black decided to play this move and threaten uh, this group on the left. At the same time, black was, was helping this entire group in the center. Okay, but 
after this exchange move here, uh, wait, of course you need to add one more stone to protect this, this group. But after wait play this, this move, now you can see this stone is almost dead. Even though later, later on you can still escape this, this stone, but it's not worth it because it's only about a couple of points of territory. So in the actual game, after this exchange move, since the, the center group is getting stronger, black played a pincer move and come back to attack this weak, weak group. And, but when you, when you look at this fight, black is first to sacrifice to some points and territory on the left and then come back to attack. But it's really hard for black to enclose the entire weak group, white group over here. So paying more first is actually not a good move or a good choice in this game. Because you don't, you don't know what's gonna happen in this fight on the bottom, but you already paid a lot of things first. So instead of playing the nice move on the top, black should peep here first and then make two space exchange uh, ex a two space ex extension on the side. So why does this move, why is this move better than the actual game? It's because um, after a couple exchange move on the side, now you can see a block has more eye space on the side already. It's very hard for white to kill it. But more importantly, after the peep here and the, the two space extension, when we look at this white, uh, the entire group over here, it, weight group is getting weaker and weaker. So we took all of the eye space away from weight. So in other words, that means it's harder for weight to attack the, the weak group in the center because now white needs to worry about escape and protect its own group. So if white played a, one of the moves around this area to escape and black now can always come back to attack this weak group again. But just making this exchange move and giving too much territory to white first is not worth it. Unless black can make sure um, black is going to kill this entire group, but that's really hard because the gap on the top is very white. It's really difficult to enclose on the top. And also white has some eye space on the bottom as well. So that's the mistake by one to four done player. And now let's look at the next one. The last mistake by five to seven done player is being too slow. All right, so now let's look at an example. So in the actual game, black played a Kosumi here. I can understand why black played this move. It's because black has some potentials and influence on the bottom right corner area here. So this move is very uh, strong and solely connected move. Um, but I just think in this situation, that will be it's just too slow because as we can see, white also has a uh, has some emoyo and some terror uh, potentials on the left side as well. So by playing here, we'll leave you a gote. So now it's white's turn and white can simply keep expanding the moyo on the top. So if I were black, I will I will invade to the black uh, white's territory immediately. So now I have a very good move to show you to invade. When you look at this kind of shape, by pulling this black stone out, that will be too hard for for black to fight in this situation because there's mm, there's nothing on um, in the center for black to connect. But we can still use we can still use that stone. And it, now we can bump here. And if we just simply Atari, that's actually what I want because now I can use the Sente on the bottom. There's, an, there's a connecting move here. So white has to play actual move, uh, another move, additional move here, either here or here. No matter where white goes, it, it doesn't change that much. And then I can easily make a two space extension on the side. And later on, I can still play the sliding move here to make more eye space. So if white played a uh, honey here, then I can use the honey again because I'm looking for a cut here and kill these two white stone 
later. So if Wei connects back, I can still use the descending move for Sente and get more I space. And I can still make the two space extension on the side to get more I space. So in the actual game, when, when black plays here, mm, it's, it's, it's fine, I think. Um, because when you're, when you're looking at uh, the, the five to seven done players game, they, it's harder to say this move is a, is a mistake because for that level of players, it's, very, it's, it's not easy for them to make a mistake unless they don't see the capture move or get double target. There's just some moves there. There, for example, this kind of move, they're always a better move in uh, different situations. So in this situation, now we're thinking this is just a too slow for, for black because uh, if we can just invade here and live there directly, not only we destroy the, all the territory on the site, and, but also we don't need to worry about this pincer here yet because the top area is still open. It's very easy for, for black to escape. And also, I don't like this move. This move. The second reason is the Kosumi here is very strong, but um, it's very hard to see what the benefit of playing this move. The bottom area is still open. Later on, we can still slide in. So actually, this stone actually doesn't do that much uh, on the board. All right, so these are the mistakes in February. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can always leave the comments below. Go to our website and follow us on Twitter and Facebook page. So my name is Stephanie Yin. I will see you next time.